Hey there everybody, it's the Screaming Gamer here, and welcome back to Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. In the last episode, we got the Tunic of Twilight, as well as we took care of a shrine. In this episode, we're going to be doing some some more uh, shrines, like three more to be exact, and we're going to be doing them in the sky, which is great. Um, now, this isn't my first attempt at recording this. Um, the first one, I was trying to get to this shrine, but I couldn't really because it was too high up. And like I was even at the uh, at over there, and yeah, I just I could not figure out how to get to the shrine. So it was a pain, serious pain. Also, I want I want to have the um, the Twilight Princess outfit equipped for most of this episode, just because it's cool. You know, it's it's a cool outfit, and I want to have it equipped. Okay, here's a, um, here's a hovercraft that we're going to go ahead and use just to get up high. It's got four batteries. Bad thing is this thing isn't exactly mobile. Okay, we're just going to try and get to that sky, sky island. Okay, that's one of our batteries dead. So that's kind of bad. Okay, they're firing rockets at us. So we're going to start leaning to the left now that um, that battery is gone. Right, we're almost there. Alright, we made it. I'm going to just drop here. And then I'm going to kill this Zonai right here. I'm not this Zonai, this uh, construct. And then you want to know what I can do? I could probably blast this off like going up oh my god that is gorgeous look at this that is so pretty this game's visuals are just straight up stunning I love this game okay we're gonna use this right now and we are gonna just get up here this might actually serve as our way of getting to, um, to this shrine over here. It's a stretch, but it is a possibility. Also, there's another, there's another shrine right down there. Um, I might actually mark that down for later. I don't know. Right now, we're just going to try and get up here, you know? Well, we are cutting it pretty close with battery. As a matter of fact, we've just exhausted our last one, pretty much. We're going to have to jump. That was really close, okay. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and find a way to ascend up here. Is that in the cards for me? Looks like it is. Alright, let's just ascend. We're going to get some height now. Here we are. Let's keep going. Yes, yeah, so this is another one of those skydiving challenges we did a long time ago. Or like the one we did a long time ago. Except this one is a different region, obviously. And that's sort of why I wanted to get this shrine, just because, like, it also doubles as getting the uh, gliding, gliding suit, or glide suit, or whatever. Wait a minute. Okay, wait, we're, we're almost at the top of this thing. Like, where is the... Oh, it's up there. I mean, we're almost to the top. We just gotta keep ascending. Luckily, it's not that much farther up. 
Although I do want to make a Zonai rocket, which I okay, I have three of them. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna use the Zonai rocket, and I'm gonna merge it with my royal guard sh or my royal shield just because um, it's a good shield to have it fused with. And then I'm gonna have another one fuse it with this wooden shield. I'm gonna go back to the island shield. And we'll send up here. Honestly, the wooden shield kind of resembles the uh, Ordon shield from Twilight Princess, so if if I was going for like a, uh, if I wanted to, um, hang on, if I wanted to um, make this look like early game Link, I could have like the, um, the wooden shield, maybe like a knight's broadsword, and like just a normal traveler's bow. Okay, we need to get up a little bit higher. I don't know if this is how we're supposed to get up here, but um, that's how I'm doing it. Okay, let's just uh, get up here. This is the highest we've ever been in this game, probably. This might actually be the highest point in the game. This is the... Well, that's a, that up there is probably the highest point in the game. Um, so what I kind of want to do is I want to use this. Okay, that just... That gets me high enough. Nice. And there we go. Alright, so this is the second diving challenge in Tears of the Kingdom. I'm gonna go ahead and just put the Highland Shield, because why not? Valor Island. Lanayru Great Spring Sky. Alright, so you know the deal with this. Just follow the rings. Luckily, we don't need to get down there within a certain amount of time, because we're not... Um, we didn't need we didn't uh, need to pay Zonai or a Zonai charge for this. But we we would have nailed it anyways. Right, so I'm gonna skip this. Do I have any Zonai charges? I just wanna be sure. So that way we can just get the item. By type. Crap, we only have a large zone I charge. Maybe we can pay for that. Okay, let's just let's just get this shrine real quick. This is gonna be a blessing shrine, thankfully. At least I think it will be. Let's get that. Alright, I'm gonna skip the cutscene. Where's my mouse? There we go, that's out of the way. Um, once we get out of here, we'll go ahead and, um, what we'll do is we'll warp to the Great Sky Island, and then we'll find some constructs to kill, and then we will, um, we'll go ahead and just do that challenge. And by the challenge, I mean the, uh, the one we need to pay a construct thing. Ooh, a diamond! That is really good. Um, we might end up selling that, I'm not sure. We'll see what happens with it. Although you can actually merge it with a weapon and give it an attack of 25, but we have, like, silver lionel horns now. We only have, like, the one with the fierce deity sword, but, yeah. And that was actually our 50th shrine we have done, which is kind of crazy. We're, um, we've only got about 100 left to, well, like, 102 left to go. Once we hit 52, there's only 100 left, which is pretty crazy.
Um, next up, we're just gonna head over the Great Sky Island, specifically the uh, Room of Awakening. And here we are. Now let's just get through the Room of Awakening and find a construct. Specifically a soldier construct. It doesn't matter the type of construct we find as long as it's not a steward, because then we think it's an eye charge. The steward constructs, they're nice. So it's kind of funny coming back to like the starting area of the game. Don't know why. Alright, so there should be a zone I... I mean, a construct, like, right over there. Oh! Okay, that actually is a side quest that we can go do, that, like, green light. Um, I'm not gonna do that right now just because I don't feel like it. Okay, there we go. Um, please give us a sonai charge. Alright, nice. Now we can just get out of here and go back to here. And we're already back. Now let's go find the steward construct, which should be just to the right of here. It's not just to the right of here. Um, steward construct, where you at? Oh, I think there's probably gonna be like some fairies around here. They're no, yeah, there's one right there. We're gonna need that because it'll revive us from the dead. Don't know if I said that before, but it's always useful to have them. Okay, there's the steward construct right there, so let's head to him, and that was splendid. How do you do? It, it is good to see that we still get dive ceremony challengers this late at night. You completed the trial one of the course on your own volition. I am pleased to host such an enthusiastic challenger. I think the time is right to begin the dive ceremony. Are you prepared? Let's go. I must ask you one thing before we, of course, we'll give him the Zonai charge. Then I will guide you to the starting position. Please pass through all the rings within 35 seconds. Alright, yep, we will do that. And then we will get our next piece of the glider set. Let's run through here, glide, then fall. I'm just full sending it down right now. Oh, we almost died there. Honestly, I always found skydiving video games really fun. It's like, it's really cool that this game's, like, biggest... One of this game's biggest mechanics is skydiving. Your time is 25 seconds and 6 milliseconds. Your dive skills are incredible. This is proof of your maturity. You have earned it. Glide mass. Skydive mobility up. How does that increase our mobility in the sky? I don't know. You may have it in you to break the current record of 25 seconds. Will you attempt the dive ceremony once more? You, no, I'm good. I'm excited for your next attempt. Farewell. Alright, so this next one um, we are going to be going for is actually... Um... It's actually like just just down here. Like, let me just. Uh, it's actually this one right here. I'm just gonna mark it off. Just that way we know where we're going. All right. Oh, sun's coming up. At 3.45, 3.50 a.m. That's not normal. At the earliest, it should come up around, like, 5. Because this is a Korok seed right here. I don't want to get that. I think, actually, the... Okay, yeah, it's actually above us. That's the next, uh... 
next uh, thing. So we're going to go back to the Linear Skyview Tower real quick, and then blast our way up from there. Okay, here we are. Now let's just blast ourselves up, like I said we should do. And we'll turn towards the blue mark. There's actually the um, the dive challenge right there. It's always pretty cool seeing where you where you came from. It like it just makes a, it kind of gives you a sense of like progression. Cause like we we were down there. I mean we were up here at some point way earlier actually. So it's not really that much progression. All right. So obviously we know this is gonna be able to make it up there. So I'll just speed this up and get up there like this. I haven't touched the controller, it's amazing. Alright, and here we are at... Wait, no, it's over there. Right, let's just get this other one now. Um, and then we'll get up there. Alright, and here we are at the next shrine of the video. Maya Mayanas Shrine. Also, the last shrine we're going to be doing is actually at the, um, the water temple. Seek the crystal connected to the beam and offer it to the shrine. And do so, and I will grant you a light that banishes evil. Alright. So it's just up there. Now, I believe this one is sort of complicated? I remember right. Okay, let's turn this one... I mean, let's turn this thing going this way. Alright, now let's get on this, and then we'll launch ourselves going that way. We. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use a arrow on this. And then... Do we have any fans? We don't. We really need some fans. Okay, you know what I can do? I can just, like... I can just ascend. And we'll use, uh... Ultra Hand to kind of bring this up and around. Ultra Hand. Oh crap, we can't grab it. Okay, we might just be able to, um, blast it up. We, we might be able to. Let's try. Oh, no. Oh, no. Okay, well, this kind of worked. Where's the beam at? Oh, crap. We ended up all the way over here. Um, okay, so... This is probably going to be a stupid idea, but let's, um... Let's merge this here. Whack this, and then we're going to blast ourselves this way. And we're just... Oh, whoa. It's actually just in here. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try burning these. I don't know if they will burn, but might as well try. Don't use the flame gliok um, equipment, I mean, gear, if you have it, just, like, save it, because you never know when you're gonna need it. Anyways, there's the, um, the, the rock in there. I'm just gonna clear this up, because we are going to need to. What have this master fused with? Nothing, okay. So I'm gonna go ahead and break this open. There we go. Now, okay, we need to make a build. We might be able to make something with auto build. Not sure. We just make a fan plan, I think. Yeah. Get the wing. We do have a fan missing, sadly. 
so we will need to spend some zonites. But what are you gonna do? There we go. Okay, now we need a steering stick, I think. Oh, we have a steering stick. And we'll merge it here. Get the battery. Have it here. And we're actually going to bring this back a little bit. Like this, that uh, way we can just, um... We're going to put it on this uh, cart here. And then let's add the other Zonai battery. Which is right here. And then I'm going to go get this rock. Heck yeah. Place it right here. And now we're going to soar off into the sunset. And by that I mean we're going to dive bomb. Oh wait, crap. No! Well, son of a gun. I'll be right back. <laughs> oh, there's actually a, um, there's a zone I build right here that we can use. This might actually, this is going to be better than the other one. We can just soar down. This build's awesome. Man, we don't have a zone ever. All right, we just fast traveled. We didn't die. Okay, yeah, I don't think I'll even need to uh, edit this out because, like, yeah. Let's just get this zone I. Let's just get the zone I rock. That's what I'm gonna call it, zone I rock. And then we can go ahead and merge it with that, our, our glider, our hovercraft. Yeah, that's what it's called. I have this back here. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no! Well. This is a... Uh, this is something. Okay, I'll try this again. Okay, my third plan. So we're going to turn this thing around first. Get the zone, I think. Then we're going to put more batteries on it. Where's the... Okay, there it is. I got worried for a minute. Okay, let's put this down here. Can we still drive it if, um... If that... Do this. Attach this to, like, the corner here. We go. And then, um, you know what we can do? I just have a, I have a big Zonai battery that I've been saving. So why don't we just go ahead and use that? I'll, I'll just uh, have it here, I guess. Been saving this for like just this type of occasion. Alright, so we, we just need to ease this thing down. Ease this thing down. Like this. We're, I, we're, we're doing great. Tula and stop it. Okay, we can do this, guys. We can do this. We're almost there. Okay. We're, we're just gonna take this. We're gonna take the zone I rock, and we're just gonna get out of here. Screw the, the big battery. I don't need it. Thank God, it's over. 
There. Alright. Shrine's done. Thank God. Hope to God I marked that down right. Yeah, that's the right one. Yep. The South Lineru Sky Crystal is done. Oh, this is not a blessing strand. The ice that guides you, or the ice guides you. Um, I guess we're just gonna need these. Okay, so what are we trying to do here? That's my question. Oh, I remember this shrine. I think. What exactly are we trying to do here? Okay. Oh wait, I remember this. I think we just need to make an ice cube and have it slide all the way over there. See if that is what we're supposed to do. We have so many items. Like seriously. Alright, use an ice arrow. Okay, let's try this. Let's try that again. Because I think this is actually what we're just we're supposed to do. Okay. Let's have it right here. Slide down. Go, 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 come on. Go, 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 go. Yeah. That was way easier than I thought it was gonna be. And I'm not going for the chest in the shrine because odds are it's nothing we don't have already. And also, like. I doubt I want to do whatever the heck this time. Yeah, no. Shrine's done. Great. Light of blessing. Blessing. Light of blessing number three. There. Okay, so now we just we have our last shrine at this place. So let's just get there and finish up this video. All right, and here we are at the last shrine we're gonna need to do in this video. All right, let me just be sure I got the right name of this shrine. Yep, orbs of water. Just gonna mark this one off now. Nice. Okay, so I think this is just like we need to just fly up with this. Oh, an anti-gravity shrine. Or a low gravity shrine. Oh, I remember this one. Okay, so let's try using recall on this and then jump up. Oh, jeez. That, uh, did not go how I wanted it to go. Okay, so we'll try this again. It's time with that, um, bubble. Okay, we'll, we'll wait for another one, actually, because that one's gonna disappear. Wait. I'm gonna use recall. Jump up. I'm gonna wait. Frick, not again. Okay, we can do this. We can do this, guys. It's way easier than I'm making it out to be. Okay. 
So that one's gonna disappear too, so let's just wait for that to be done. Let's hurry up. Come on. Okay, so this time I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna wait until it's up higher. And then we'll do it right. Up. Ready to bubble now. Wait. Now. Alright, we did it. I'm just gonna get scooped up here. Okay, now I think we need to, like, make a ramp? Wait. Okay, yeah, we need to make a ramp that will go up there. Do we, is there anything else we need? Like, or is... Okay, wait, wait, wait. We have this. No, 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 no. Okay, there we go. Now we're just gonna wait for the uh, bubble to take us up. This is a little bit off, but like it should work. Okay, it worked, but it didn't take us. So okay, you know what we're gonna do? We're just gonna we're just gonna wait in front of it this time. Look at the hat. How much the gravity affects it? It's kind of funny. There we go. Okay. I think this is it. We got it. Nice. And that is the last shrine of this video. Fantastic. Okay, so now that that's out of the way, let's go ahead and go down to Zora's Domain, because it's, like, right below us, and then we'll end off the video there. And, and then we're obviously also going to pay it, I mean, pray to Bob, a goddess statue. That's how it goes around here. There we go. Whoa, it didn't load in there for a minute. <laughs> Alright. Yeah. I've really got to count how many hearts we have by hand. Because, like, it's kind of hard to tell. Go and bring f peace to the world. Yep. Thank you guys for watching this episode of Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. I thought we were in anti-gravity for some reason. And now we end off on a beautiful night. Well, cloudy night in Zora's Domain. Next time we'll be doing some more shrines up in the sky. Or maybe down below Hy on Hyrule. I haven't figured that out yet. I'll see you guys in the next episode.